10 steps for launching an ICO. ICOs are a very interesting area, and if you're new to ICOs, this checklist should give you a rough idea of what is involved in the amount of prep work which is required if you intend to launch one. ICO really started booming around 2015 and 2016, raising ridiculous amounts of money and putting traditional fundraising platforms like Kickstarter to shame. Many ICOs did not even have the proper white paper or any working prototype, but yet managed to raise millions of dollars. I know of people who just dump money into any ICO without even reading the white paper, hoping the token value would go up post ICO. There are also many YouTube videos teaching people how to scam money using ICO. By the time you are reading this, the ICO climate has changed. Many countries are starting to regulate or ban ICOs and people are becoming more informed of what, what to look for in an ICO before investing in it. To have a successful ICO today, you really need to have a great idea on a lot of prep. The amount of effort you put in will reflect on the result you get out of it eventually. Step one, the white paper. I've seen many white papers that exist for the wrong reason. Many white papers are in fact marking papers. This is the first smell of a scam. A white paper should describe a problem thoroughly and dedicate a large part of the paper to providing a possible workable solution. Always back up your claim while your solution would work. Step two, purpose of your token. Decide on how you want to incentivize your contributors with the tokens issued to them. Do your math and research into the soft and hard token cap numbers and their implications. Be careful of running uncapped ICOs as people are becoming more wary of it. Choose an easy to remember token symbol. Step three, terms and conditions. You want to do your legal background research early. Decide on your ICO terms and conditions. Decide on who can and cannot contribute. Ideally, you want a legal advisor on your team. Is the nature of your business even legal in your country? How do you intend to spend the funds raised? How's the token distributed? Does the core team intend to keep tokens by themselves? Always keep abreast of ICO legalities in different countries. Step four, build a great team. To me, this is the hardest part. How do you get people to believe in your ideal? Not just normal people, but people with credibility willing to stake their reputation with your ideal. These people must have verifiable LinkedIn accounts. Many ICOs start off being overly top heavy. Example, you have the CEO, CFO, CTO, but no engineers. This gives people the impression that you have no ability to execute your ideal. If your team is blockchain related, you need to get blockchain experts in your team. People who know blockchain are hard to come by. Make sure you do enough networking to know the right people. Step five, decide on, on what token tech to use. With all the groundwork laid out, it's time to choose the blockchain tech powering your token. At the time of writing, Ethereum is by far the most popular and mature platform for launching ICOs. Creating Ethereum ERC-20 tokens is easy, but implementing custom crowd sale logic around the token can take a bit of thinking. For example, you may have discount structure based on the contribution date. You have to also consider refunding contributors if the ICO fails to reach its soft cap, etc. It's worth noting there are also quick token solutions such as Waves and NXT, but they are not an all-in-one crowd sale solution. Step six, execution plan. Decide on how many rounds of token sales you would like. For example, a private sale or pre-sale ICO and a general sale for each stage having different discount structures. There have been many criticisms on many ICOs in the past. In general, you want to be fair and not allow a few to buy out all the tokens. So you may want to verify the user's identity before allowing them to participate. One easy way to do that is to create a whitelist. At the time of writing, the SEC is prosecuting token sales without KYC procedures, and some crypto exchanges are beginning to exclude cryptos that did not implement KYC. And KYC is tricky and troublesome, but is legally required for some countries. Step seven, token and crowd sale smart contracts. When writing the actual smart contract, and again in the context of Ethereum, open Zeppelin libraries are helpful when writing secure crowd sale and token smart contracts. Be wary of overusing it though, as the contract could become bloated and users have to pay high gas fees when making contribution. 
Always do a lot of testing and auditing as you're dealing with people's money. Step eight, hardware setup. There are quite a few setups to do. First of all, you'll need a wallet to store all the funds collected during the ICO. A multi-sig hardware wallet is a good option. You also need a contingency plan in place if your wallet ever gets compromised. Assuming you're using Ethereum, you also need to set up an Ethereum node fully synced with the test and mainnet to launch and test your smart contracts. There might be a trial and error during this process. For example, you might be switching between Geth and Parity, clients, etc. If you're hosting your website, you also need to set up the hosting environment. In other words, you want to set up the hardware for your ICO early. Step nine, the website. You'll need to have a responsive campaign front end connected to a running node so as to track the progress of the sale. Your website should be usable and idiot proof with very clear instructions on how to contribute. Many professional ICO also has a login system for users to manage their account and upload or download any documents if required. Having a dedicated portal also improves your brand but requires more work to set it up. Step 10, market early and market right. In addition to creating brand awareness and running standard marketing campaigns using Bitcoin talk forums, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, etc. Research into the minds of crypto traders and enthusiasts. People who invest in ICOs are people who are into cryptocurrencies. Advertise in places where they visit, know who they are following on YouTube, and do video interviews. Video is still the best conversion platform. Go to meetups and meet people in real to gain trust. It's very hard to get Mr. and Mrs. Smith to invest if they have trouble understanding what Bitcoin is. And some final tips, learn from successful ICOs on how they did it. Proofread all the documents over and over again. A smart contract is never completed. Keep testing, auditing, and refining. Engagement and good customer service equates to sales. Allow enough time to create the market hype before the actual ICO begins. And don't underestimate the amount of legal investigation, time, and prep work required to launch an ICO.